We welcome now one of those charged with addressing this agenda. She is Hester Pierce. She's SEC commissioner. And I'll disclose, full disclosure, we have something in common. We actually work for the same law firm, although not at the same time. Hester's much younger than I am. So Wilmer Cutler in Pickering, Washington. So welcome. It's good to have you, Hester. David, it's a delight to be here today. So you, you know the issue because we're hearing it all the time from people who pay attention to Bloomberg. There's a big agenda there, and it's growing. It's not shrinking at the present time. Give us your take about this agenda. Is it something that really is doable? Well, we're doing it, but I, I do fear that there are consequences to trying to move so fast. Sometimes when you move really fast, even as a regulator, you break things that are working well. And so I think we need to be very careful. We need to slow down, listen to what people are saying, give people the time they need to consider what we're doing. In business, at least, prioritizing is critical. If you ask an organization to do too many things all at the same time, it breaks down. It can't do it. Is there a sense of priorities about what's the most important thing, what's the first thing up? What is the most important regulation or two or three regulations you think that you're addressing right now? Well, from my perspective, thinking about basic bread and butter issues is the most important thing we can be doing. And, and so one of those things, for example, we're looking at shortening the settlement cycle, which is something that um, we've, we've seen from market events would be a useful thing to do. Thinking about the treasury markets is another area that I think it, there's there's some value to our looking at, at those markets to see if we can do anything to improve how they operate. But there's a lot of other stuff that's on our agenda that's, that's much more politically um, sensitive, and that is taking a lot of our attention, and that's really not what we should be doing as, as a securities regulator. Well, let's talk about a little bit of that, because certainly we talk about that all the time, like climate disclosure might be one of the things you're referring to. I'm not sure. Disclosure about uh, the compensation for senior executives and corporations. There's a whole host of things like that. Are those things you think that should be put off for the time being? Well, some of those things, some of the, the compensation rules, those kinds of things are things that Congress asked us to, to do. And so we, we have to do those things. But something like climate change disclosure, we already have a lot of rules around disclosure for public companies. And, and so certainly risks around climate are something that are already are encompassed by existing rules. We've put out a 500 plus page proposal to require much more granular disclosure by public companies around climate. And, and that's something that I'm quite concerned about because it's really a shift in the way we've done disclosure regulation. And, and so it's something new. One issue that is pressing right now, I'm not sure if you do have the time uh, to really put it off, and that is regulation of cryptocurrency or perhaps more specifically stable coins, given what we saw just last week. Where does that sit from your point of view? What should the SEC be doing and when? I think you're right to, to focus on that. Crypto is, is an area where I've been calling for us to take uh, steps to regulate the market, to put out clear rules around what people need to do. Um, stable coins may or may not be within our bailiwick. Of course, facts and circumstances matter, but it's something that Congress has been looking at, and, and so Congress may well weigh in, and I think the events of last week are, are likely to uh, encourage them to work more quickly on it. Uh, you're one member of the commission, but an important member of the commission. From your point of view, though, personally, though, do you have a sense of the jurisdictional divisions, per, for example, between the SEC on the one hand and CFTC on the other when it comes to cryptocurrency stablecoins? Well, I think some of those things are unclear, and so that's why congressional input would be quite helpful. There are certainly areas where we should be acting, where our regulated entities, broker-dealers, uh, for example, investment advisors, want to interact with crypto, and that's somewhere where we could be providing regulatory clarity. One thing that's very much in the news, we cover it almost every day on Bloomberg, whether we like it or not, is Elon Musk and Twitter. And, and I'm not going to ask you to take any position that's a pending issue. But this is my question almost as a lawyer. What is the jurisdiction of the SEC right now over that transaction? Transaction. I mean, what what are you responsible for? What are you not responsible for? I mean, we're a disclosure regulator. So when when a transaction like that is is happening, we'll look at the disclosures and and make sure that they're um, in line with our rules. And that's that's just a standard role that we play. We're not a merit regulator. We don't look at the merits of, of transactions like that. Uh, the, the chair Gary Gensler has been testifying about the need for appropriations, and my understanding is. One of the priorities is enforcement. Do you agree with him? You need more resources for enforcement? Well, we always can can have more resources to do more things. But again, we're a regulatory agency, and, and enforcement is a key part of what we do. But we need to be writing clear rules. I would actually put more resources on the, the regulatory mm -hmm. and and 
compliance side. That's where I think we need resources. So let's come back to regulatory just as a, as a closing question here. Uh, if you were going to guess, and it's a guess and it's not all up to you, where will we be a year from now? How much of that regulatory agenda will we really see come to fruition a year from now? Well, we're moving very fast, and so I think that we could see a lot of the agenda being put in place. That said, as you pointed out, there are a lot of concerns around the timing, and so I hope that we will slow down and listen to people. What about the time for uh, uh, the execution on the securities trades coming out of the meme stocks? Right. I mean, I think that's something that we'll move forward with. But even when you put a rule like that in place, you've got to give the market time to adjust to it, and so there's an implementation period as well.